capital is everything. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about right now is the importance of capital. Now, if you saw my video, how I turned 500 into 7,000 and then lost it all in one day, well, that second part was partly due to the fact I didn't have enough capital. So let's say $500 is instead 5,000. So 500 to 7,000, you place that with 5,000 to 70,000. Now, if I simply would have had more capital, of course I would have cashed out earlier because the amount of money is everything. So for example, this is why those, those people with multi-millions and billionaires, they're like, Yo, the stocks went up 7% this year. I'm chilling. That's amazing. Whereas it's like, if you got a hundred bucks, a thousand bucks, whatever, you're like 7, or 7%, uh, $70 the whole year. Uh, what? <laughs> but the people with millions, if you have $1 million in the stock market, and it goes up 7%, well, that's 70,000. <laughs> like, that's well above the average median income. So, same exact stock, same exact percent, much different results in terms of value, simply because the million, they had more capital. So, but when you don't have a lot of capital, you have to grow it quick. And that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to grow it, flip it quick. So that way I could go ahead and get more capital. So that way my returns would be more valuable. So that is why at the end of the day, I think capital is like the number one most important aspect of, of investing because you can do 500%, you could do 1400% like I just did. But if you don't have enough capital invested, it's not gonna be as significant and as meaningful and as valuable. So the key and what I'm doing is to accumulate as much capital as possible because the more money you have the more money you can make. That's just simple mathematics. Like we just talked about 7%. Like let's do a million again, 10%. That's a hundred thousand a year. If you can only get 10% on a million dollars, whereas getting 10% on a thousand dollars, that's gonna take you years. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you have to go for higher percentages when you have lower capital and that is what cryptocurrency allows and that is why i believe cryptocurrency is the greatest investment of all time if you look at the last 10 years it's literally the greatest asset like that exists <laughs> like performing asset the highest return on investment but i think we're gonna make that for another video but I'm just saying that to give you like an idea of an alternative for people with low capital. And it's my exact strategy because I, I can't, I can't rely on 7%, 10%. That's, that's dinosaurs compared to a thousand percent. Like I just did with, you know, certain cryptocurrencies it's way better to be high risk and high reward because these numbers, I mean, it's not even compared. It's, it can't even be compared. Like if you're thinking about it, investing and the value of whatever asset you're talking about comes down to the capital too. Because if you have low capital within a company, 
it has more room to grow. If Apple's worth a trillion dollars or whatever it is, just for it to double, it needs a whole another trillion within the investment to double. Like, it's like that's too much capital needed. Whereas a, a, an investment with a low market cap has much more room to grow. So I'm going all in on cryptocurrencies as I believe they have the highest potential return on investment. That's just a statistical mathematical fact. Um, and, but the key is capital when it comes to investing. And look, when you do get a bunch of money from more risk, risky investments like crypto or whatever, then you can go into more conservative type of investments because you have more capital. But the key is to get the capital first. Capital is the most important aspect of investing.